Hey guys, I wanted to give you some uh, driving tips. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. Uh, let's talk about entering curves. You as a beginning driver need to reduce your speed before you go into the curve. You want to accelerate out of the apex of the curve. You want to maintain proper lane positioning. If you go to the inside of the curve, centrifugal force will pull you to the outside. Let's talk about lane changing. You want to signal your intention, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You have to do your head checks. You have to check over your shoulder. If you don't know what a blind spot is, a blind spot is here to my left. A blind spot is here to my right. When you're driving, you want to maintain great speed control. If you're instructed to make a lane change to the left, mirror, turn signal, blind spot where you're looking over your shoulder, checking your blind spot. If you're making a lane change to the right, mirror, turn signal, you look over your shoulder, you check your blind spot. Let's talk about gradually going into the lane. You wanna have smooth steering movements into the lane. You wanna maintain proper speed control and proper distance. Extremely important that you maintain that proper control. Let's talk about parking. You have perpendicular parking that's pulling in to the right side. You also have perpendicular parking that is putting, pulling in to the left side. Parallel parking is when you pull up even with the vehicle, you line up, then you reverse back, you cut your wheels all the way to the right. That is extremely important. Also, do you exit a parking spot safely? Meaning you turn on your blinker, you look over your shoulder, you check your blind spots. Extremely important that you do that. Let's talk about safe driving behavior. Automatically put on your seatbelt before you even start the car and adjust your mirrors. You need to properly adjust your seat and put on your seatbelt. Do you maintain proper speeds at all time? Example, in a residential area is 25 miles an hour. On the main thoroughfare, it could be 45 miles an hour. It could be 50 miles an hour. Maintain good speed. It's extremely important that you do that. Do you have a proper following distance? Maintain good following distance. If you just popped in, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Driving with Miles. I talk about and give driver's education tutorials and road test prep. Uh, I want to continue. Do you identify and understand appropriate signals? Meaning, the light is yellow. It is in the process of turning red. If you can stop safely within three seconds, 1001, 1002, and 1003. If you can simply stop in three seconds, you need to. If you run a light, this is potential for failing your DMV test or road test. Don't get in the habit of running lights. Build good habits. Do you demonstrate proper mirror checks? We have a mirror to the left, we have a mirror to the right, we have a mirror up here. You should see good eye movement. Look at my eyes, I'm looking to the left, I'm looking up, I'm looking to the right. You have to have good eye movement. Your DMV tester, road tester wants to see eye movement. Do you understand the vehicle capabilities? You're in a semi-truck, you're in a Kia, you're in a Hellcat Charger or Challenger, you're in a small Ford. Do you understand the capabilities of that vehicle? And do you demonstrate safe and, and reliable control? Do you effectively manage the risk? A pedestrian is coming up. Do you squeeze the brake and slow down and allow them to walk? Do you roll past them? Are you blowing past yellow red lights? These are unsafe driving behaviors and will cause you to pick up a fault or an error and you will fail your DMV test or road test. Do you yield to pedestrians? Understand what I'm saying? You have to yield to pedestrians. They always have the right of way. Let's talk about understanding uh, expressways. Do you merge on properly? Or are you hesitating and holding up or impeding the flow of the traffic? Notice I'm using driver's ed terms. Are you identifying a proper gap? A proper gap is the space between cars. Yes, there are spaces either after the car immediately or before the car immediately. Notice the word is immediately but safe. Do you maintain proper speed? If the speed limit is at 40 and you're coming out at 20 miles an hour, you're gonna hold up the flow of the traffic. That is a driving error or a fault. Do you prepare to stop or merge when traffic is coming? Do you use signal properly? I just want to give you some information 
I do appreciate you. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. It's called Driving with the Miles. I do driver's education tutorials, and there will be a live session coming up next week. So check my community page. Bye, guys.